Another thing that we'll need to do is to change the numbers from Roman figures to numbers. So we've inserted our page numbers as Roman figures. So we want the first part to be Roman figures, the bottom part to be actual numbers. So we'll first have to format that. If you don't know how to insert numbers, just watch one of my videos as well. Okay, let's start. We go to insert. We'll go to page numbers. When you check on page numbers there, format numbers. So as you can see, the only first part is Roman figures. So those are the Roman figures. So here we wanted the pages from introduction moving forward to be numbers, not Roman figures. So as you can see here, this page is supposed to be numbers. In the meantime, it's Roman figures, it's Roman figure five. So that is what now we need to sort out um, you can you see it's Roman figure 5 it's supposed to be starting from one day then the top one where there is a title table of content and everything those ones are supposed to be Roman figures so we are separating we need to <clears throat> break this page Let's pull the information up, that one with the introduction. It must come to this page because it's blank and the date is page one. So we have done that. We will need to, that one is from Enfica 3, as you can see there. So the next one is supposed to be number one that has got introduction now that we've just pulled up can you see there's page one so we have done that now we need to go and insert the table of con so this page was our page three so now it's still our page three in actual fact when you go to physical count we need to remove that now is the table of content we are preparing to insert our table of content do you remember that one we also made it through the header so now we are inserting the table of content we will see what is gonna happen from there so we'll go to reference then they appear our table of content on the extreme left there can you see there so that down arrow, it will give you the options, which one, how do you want 
want it to look like so you choose let's choose i think number two is fine there you go so all the content that is appearing there is because it was made through the headers or anointed through the headers otherwise it wouldn't have been appearing everything that you see there on the table of content it wouldn't have appearing so just get that right so we remove that one we must now um, align our table of content with the requirements um, it could be the font it could be the text style so that is what we must do now there is our table of content just imagine if you have done all those things there um, physically can you see that the roman figures on top then the numbers start where we wanted them to be from introduction as you type there it will show introduction move from page one perhaps to page five and whatsoever as you add the information and you can update there on top when it says update whenever you put some more things you go to update it will update so now we are um, correcting the the one table of content and check is it on the style that is uh, required the style is supposed to be Arial, so we are adjusting that now as we have been doing with all other headers as well so it's supposed to be 12 so is the content 12 we also need to check that is Arial, but it's 11 so we adjust it to 12 so yeah basically that's all in terms of the table of content but let's check some few more things adjusting some few things don't forget now that that update table that is appearing when you click there on the table of content is the one that you must keep on updating updating click on it so that it will update as you added the information the update table so just try this try as much as possible because this is um, the system that microsoft put up to make life easy mainly for researchers or people who are writing books so there you go we have achieved our objective of a table of content professional you don't need to type all those roman figure ones sometimes you miss certain things others is, is a whole lot more if you have ever done it manually then you will have to learn it in a very hard way so here's the system use it it's gonna work for you as you can see there this is page one even there's page one everything is sorted now i hope you've learned something just follow one of my um uh videos with regard to lme 3701 it will take you through all these processes all these processes you won't have to worry about anything so thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe if you are new you are most welcome join the family if you have been with us you know our rules you know the home you are still most welcome so let's meet again on more other educational and informative videos bye bye